Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Some of the jokes you will hear on this podcast will be offensive to some people. None of these jokes reflect our real opinions or views. Please enjoy, and as always, thank you for supporting by giving us a listen. Welcome to Scumcast. That's not a dream. Oh. (laughs) Back in the shit. (laughs) All I got was not a dream. (laughs) Welcome back, guys. Well. It's uh, part two of episode eight. We still have Ronald here. What's He's uh, J Beans, J Beans, aka Nonsense, Nonsense, aka Non Beans, aka James, aka Beans on Toast, Beans on Toast, aka Bag of Beans, aka Pull the Toaster, aka Fuck y'all. I got a bag of beans. President of rap. Yo, check out his EP coming out. Pull the Toaster 2022. Let's go. Aka Tuna Can Dick. Tuna Can. So, uh, to the cancock. That goes back to hashtag wash your dicks. To the cock. A white N word. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, anyway. All right, so I got a question for nonsense. I refer to white people as clam chowder. Go ahead. <laughs> I refer to white people as clan chowder. <laughs> we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm keeping that one in. That was clever. Uh, that's fucking. That's a diss on that's, uh, gold, that's a diss bro, on white on. people right there. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fine. Hashtag yeah. clan chatter. I feel bad now because we're going to this, or we're going from this into something serious now. Okay. Wow, way to Let's get in the, the zone. Mood. I know exactly. No water. No, I have a Ronnie question just for comes nonsense. Out here with this banger of a word. All right. and like, yeah, I have a question for nonsense, and I'm talking about nonsense. The rapper. All right. All right. So uh, <laughs> we talked about you being a rapper a little bit, and I know you don't have any songs out yet or anything like that. So let the people know, like, what what your music is, what your art we style work, and stuff we like we that. We working with this boy though. We, he's gonna so, get some shit out. Yeah. It's gonna sound fire. So it's gonna sound like fucking flame. Well, in, so we know it's rap. We know it's hip hop. But like, what is what is your style influenced by? Like the different I styles have of hip hop. So many different styles that I work with. I do like like Lil Wayne esque, like just pure bars songs, no real story to it, but just punchline shit. Like fucking. I was heavily in- influenced by like early Kanye stuff, so I like to write shit about like my past here and there or whatever things that I've been through or whatnot. <laughs> Donda. I- I'll literally write about fucking anything. Donda, Donda. I'll Donda. write about fucking anything. All right there we go. Like, I like how you looked right at me when you said yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> because you know. You, you, I, I know. You know. I feel it. I you're feel the it. you're the kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that fucks things. You do fuck. I do. Bishop fucks. In yeah. my dreams, too. Not Actually, no, that's not true. But, yeah. Uh, pretty <laughs> much anything that I just, like, feel like writing, I'll just, like, jot down or whatever. It'll, from metaphorical shit to sad boy stuff to whatever it may be. I have songs about smoking weed with aliens. I have songs about my grandma passing away. It's it's and every she fucking weed with the every aliens. piece of the spectrum. No I feel like I cover. I'm influenced by a lot of people. There's nobody that I can say that I truly disliked. Like I I consider myself a, a student of the game in hip hop. I just I love hip hop so much. Like since I was like 11 years old when I like around the time I moved to Arizona a few years after, I just started getting like enveloped into the culture of hip hop and I just fell in love with it almost immediately. And it was it, it didn't take long for me to like as a lover of hip hop and like English being like such a favorite subject of mine in school just because I loved poetry so much, it felt like the logical next step for me was to try my own hand at it and see if I could do anything that I fucked with. Because at the end of the day, if you can't fuck with your own shit, then it's not good. Period. Yeah. No, that's that's true. And so eventually it just ended up like uh, becoming a stress reliever. Like writing ends up getting me through a lot. Like if I'm going through some shit relationship wise in my life, if I'm going through something with my family, I can put those feelings into my phone or on a piece of paper and just like get it out there 
and in a lot of times it ends up being something really like consistent and really good because like a lot of times the music that comes straight from your heart is is the best shit out there right and so it ends up being really raw and really like just legitimate to me actually i think i have a tool that can actually help you with that because you uh, because um you said you have like a bunch of like your older phones on your or sorry older songs on your old phones that you that you still have right yeah well if you would like to kind of keep it cloud based so that you can access it from any phone um do you have a gmail i do okay so there's an app um but it's also it's pretty much pretty much it's like just like any part of the gmail like drive the actual mail um calendar so on and so forth mm. um it's called google keep it's all basically like sticky notes that are just notes for you are you do you mean keep notes yeah yeah keep notes that's, yeah that's well, it. it's a usually called google keep but same thing so you can do that and basically just log on to keep all and just basically just keep all your um all your writing on that yeah and then you know once again if your phone breaks all you need to do is just log in your gmail yeah. you got just everything that all yeah. so you could tra- so once you get one you know once uh you know if you're able to get those phones back up you can just transfer all that shit over there yeah for sure yeah that dude. is true yeah i've used like three different phones now and it just transfers all my notes over yeah so, i gotta i gotta look into that for but sure I, thank I, you I thank you daddy you. google yeah I do feel you on the emotion shit and all that, because that's kind of what I keep my pop punk project for, is, like, it's either for actual nonsense, not the rapper, but the word nonsense, mm. or for emotional shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, because there's there's times when you just want to write some shit straight from your heart and, like, fucking put all your feelings out on a page, and then there's other times when you're just like, let me have fun with it. Yeah. Like, let me see what I can write down that's going to make other people just like laugh or make me laugh at Mm -hmm. least just to have on the track just to be like this is fucking silly i love it that's why i wrote down that one note when we were at the shirts and things and you guys were like what are you doing and i said a a cup with unlimited water (laughs) (laughs) like wait hold back up what (laughs) i thought about if we could get a cup that holds unlimited water it's a big ass cup. Is this yeah. troll science here? What's going on here? I'm confused. It, I don't know how it's gonna work, but it's a thing that's gonna happen. Maybe, probably not. But I can write about it and only hope to dream of my own utopia that has a cup with unlimited water. Hashtag unlimited cup. Hashtag unlimited, unlimited cup. water cup. You will probably save. Hashtag infinite water. Every third world country out there now. That water's going to get really nasty after a while. No, it's uh, constantly being filtered okay. by Brita. Okay. Sponsor. You going to have to replace those filters, or is it also an infinite filter? Mm, we haven't got that far yet. Okay. Okay. That's probably, you're probably going to have to replace me, the filters. Keep me posted. Yeah. Keep me posted. Yeah, you're going to have to replace those filters. Now I'm thinking about this. This is very complicated. How does it take the water? Is it like evap? All right. Anyways... It has a pro- <laughs> There's so kind of a reason it doesn't I mean, exist yet. So I mean, it's two. What is it? It's it's. Come on, Elon. So it's one hydrogen <laughs> atom and two uh, you know, two oxygen atoms. So therefore, you could probably Holy develop shit. some sort of filter you know, filtration system, whereas it takes hydrogen and oxygen out of the air in order to be able to do that. You know, I'm not gonna lie. My chemistry is absolutely garbage, so I don't really know where we get the hydrogen. However, if you, you know, however, with the amount of air, if it's just fil- filtering through, you can catch the O2 at least, and then find some sort of source for the hydrogen. Boom, you got your unlimited water. I think we just found Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a chemistry class with Forsaken Scum. I like me and see, I like talk. I like thinking about some like humanitarian type shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Well, like, make me a cup with unlimited water. Did it stop recording? No, it's it's no. off screen. Oh. Thingy. Yeah, like, I don't know. This computer's kind of weird. When it goes into sleep mode, it like. Hot, it like frankly like it just stops the frame. Freezes the frame. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, but yeah, no, I mean like you could definitely do that, especially if you have it all across it. Like, and if it's a big enough filtration system, it might stop some of it. But I would much rather have clean water and a little bit less electricity. That's just me. Bill Nye the science guy. Shut the fuck up. That was chemistry the and politics. Bill Nye. Boo boo boo. All right, next subject. 
Well, I have other ideas. We want to <laughs> what do we want to talk about, boys? Wow, well, this is the first scum cast where we actually had to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I just kind of look at the ceiling and I think... I just think about Ronnie a lot, you know? Well, actually, um, I have a question for Ronnie. <laughs> All right. He's like, I'm Let's completely to and off. totally ignore what Bishop was saying. <laughs> Because that's fucking awful. No, because Bishop doesn't matter. No, no, I matter. I'm that. the one who we're running this shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Go for oh, it. Ask Daddy him the Corey. question. No. Hashtag Daddy Corey. So, no, so it kind of goes back into the question of, like, you know, you as an artist. I'm just curious. Like, so, like, where are you trying to go with that? Are you trying to, like, play live shows? Are you trying to do, like, touring, all that shit? Oh, absolutely. That's, okay. That's, like, okay. that's, like, one of the biggest dreams that I have is, like, playing on stage and, like, fucking having fans, like, scream a song of yours word for word without you even having to have a track up or anything mm -hmm. just because they're that dedicated to fans and they love your shit that much yeah oh, that's a dream bro like that's that's at the end of the day like I could die happy after that moment you know what I mean no I got you I got you if they started doing that I'd yell at them that it's copyright <laughs> <laughs> Bishop's gonna get shit thrown at him on stage <laughs> I will, I will I want say everyone in this quiet. world of in this world of like diverse music and stuff like that like with you being friends with us a death metal band you're obviously going to be in the rap scene w once you start getting uh moving and stuff you're going to yeah. have you're going to be in the rap scene but you're also going to be friends with the metal scene so that that can open up doors for different types of shows different types of yeah you know stuff like that you yeah, can get on sure. shows with metal band possibly you know with how diverse music has been going i mean we had that rap group, the rap show right, but beneath our show last night, yeah. and they were they were playing in the underground, and you know like that'd be cool to have a blended you know rap and metal show. Ooh, yeah. that's funny you Absolutely. say that because uh, I was actually over I was actually at the Nile again on what was it Thursday, and um, Avoid was headlining over in the underground, and my buddy Anthony from Hands X Feet was playing that show. So I bought, and that's who I bought the ticket from. So he, um, he's a, he delivers a Christian message with his rap, but he started going into like the trap metal area, which is awesome. Yeah. And dude, his shit sounded fucking sick. It really did. I was in the merch, you know, I was doing merch for Avoid that night. Well, with Tyler, but of course I was also, he was mainly doing merch and I was also going into this and going into the crowd, but I was in the back and I was listening to it. I was just like, "Dude, this is fucking sick!" Like I've never heard that. Like I've never heard this before with a Christian theme. Yeah. So like you know, and that was in a metal show, or well, it actually wasn't even really like a metal metal show. A lot like last night, it was more like they had like a pop punk band. They were three pieces. It sounded like Green Day. They were called Insomniacs. Fucking killer That's band. Tight. Yeah. And then unfortunately, I didn't <clears throat> s I didn't see the two bands before that. And then it was a, like Hands X Feet and then Avoid played, and they were fucking tight. They were fucking tight as shit. But the point I'm trying to make is is that yeah, I highly encourage getting on rock shows, metal shows, oh, all absolutely. that. Oh, absolutely. And like not instead of it just being um, you know a rap show. Now, yeah. granted, it looks like they're starting they're they're starting to do like rap promotion and all that shit, which is awesome, fantastic. Um, in fact. You know, uh, Spooky, the guy who I was talking to out in the parking lot yesterday? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, he he gave me the username of the guy who set up that show. So, I'm, so in which case, once you guys start getting your uh, your your wraps up, I'm going to be hitting up some boys. That, yeah. or I mean, we can pull, uh, put on some shows ourselves. Yeah. Shit, I mean, all three of you could be on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and... Little bitch of headlines. And, and a huge <laughs> point as well, like... Like, going back to that subject, like, I, I want to work with anyone who wants to work with me that I fuck with at the end of the day, too. Like, anyone who, like, has, Ooh. like, a dope sound, to me, I want to work with you. I'm not going to have any, like, beefs with anybody unless it's legitimate shit for whatever reason. Like, that Tom McDonald shit earlier is just fucking, it's all fucking jokes, you know? I want to work with anybody and everybody who's got some kind of message that they want to push through as long as they do it in a way that I find, like, interesting, you know? Yeah. I mean, the only rhetoric that I actually agree with Tom McDonald is the fact that everyone just likes to just bitch online all the fucking time over everything. Yep. I'm looking at you, Twitter. 
Anyway. <laughs> hashtag no, fuck Twitter. Like, I, and yeah, hashtag fuck Twitter. I fucking hate Twitter. <laughs> like, I literally, like, I, I only keep Twitter for the sake of, like, okay, if someone wants to connect with me on Twitter or finds me on Twitter, cool. But at the same time, it's just, like, I just watch Twitter and it's just, like, this is just, like, garbage in digital form. And it's just everybody's opinions just thrown out there. I mean, like, f- I mean, forget Facebook. Facebook kind of cracks down on it, but not so much. But Twitter is especially worse because Twitter is a godless, lawless land. Like, despite, yep. like, like the, probably the biggest thing, like, they did for anything in crackdown was what? Trump got kicked off of Twitter? And then I haven't seen anything beyond that. And Trapped. I purposely... What? Trapped. <laughs> Trapped, <laughs> yeah, they got blocked. Trapped, yeah, they. Well, oh, did they? Well, you have yep. to be, you have to be like shit posting on li- at lightning speed in order to get kicked off Twitter. And that's what Trump and Trapped were doing. <laughs> yep, oh, Trump God. and Trapped. They were yeah, they like Trump and Trapped. Trump and Trapped. Well, I mean, that's kind of how you're getting famous nowadays <laughs> is by hate. It's like the like remember when uh, structures and uh, volumes were about to do uh, like a collab, and then we we're gonna call it Vultures. Mm-hmm. Now imagine Trump and Trapped, Trumped. Hashtag Trump and, <laughs> Trump and Trapped. Trunk and Trump and Trapped. Hashtag Trumped. <laughs> tramped. So maybe, uh, tramped. Okay, I like that better. Hell yeah. So you, Hashtag here's Tramped. A, here's an option for you, Ronnie. If you really want to get big, you can try to be the most hated person in the world. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. Or yeah, you could, they, they, we already have one of those. 6 9 Ooh. Oh, he wants to be a six nine. I'm not. Well, no I'm, one wants to be a six nine because he no one wants to fuck with kids. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Yeah. yeah he's a pedophile. You don't need to know Jeez, that. Jeez, who is it nowadays? Oh my god. Uh, I uh, us. That's We're true. not. Us, thankfully, oh my god. But it seems like everyone that's like famous and like is a celebrity or whatever, they're just like immediate pedophiles. I so like, yeah see that 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 doesn't make sense to me and I have a like a like I have like a really small feeling that like some of it some of it at least is like slightly coordinated just to like fuck that person over yeah yeah it, I mean I'll say like you I mean people can ex- post something yeah and then just basically everyone's like oh my god it's gospel blah, blah, blah. yeah like, yeah I mean, one like, example Twitter, once again Twitter fucking Twitter yeah one huge example of that that happened a few few years ago was uh when x was in prison he was outed as a homophobic quote unquote and he's not and wasn't the reason why is because pitchfork magazine ended up coming out with the article that basically said he beat up a gay dude for being gay in prison and that that is the most out of context thing the basically this guy that was gay was basically watching x in the shower at in prison and x told him hey you're making me uncomfortable can you please stop watching me i'm trying to shower and the dude went away came back and started like staring at him in the shower again and he's like dude i told you i am uncomfortable you're making me uncomfortable here uh, if you keep doing this i'm gonna beat your ass and dude kept doing it so x went and beat him up and the articles read xxx natacion uh beats gay dude in prison and everyone started calling him homophobic i'm like dude this dude was making him uncomfortable i would have done the same thing if somebody yep. was staring at me in yeah, the shower no. i'm trying to shower any you know. no any heterosexual male who basically <clears throat> went to prison for any reason if that happened and like have a, had a gay dude like looking at him while they're in the shower yeah he's gonna get his fucking ass beat yep exactly like that's kind of like that's where the bus stops yeah. that is where the bus stops but because of that article it started going around that X yeah. was homophobic and then he started getting canceled for a little bit yeah bro the media twists that's, literally everything that they can because yeah. at the end of the day everything's about popularity clout chasing and how much you can sell yep but have See, you ever thought he just wanted to take a shower with him that's the thing is yeah. he X didn't he want did to and he didn't want to do that so yeah that's kind of <laughs> that's, that's kind, kind of, of an issue he's and, just trying to conserve water so they can use the same shower head together i don't think that was the idea you know, some of you guys. I think he was trying to conserve some dick. Have more of an open mind, guys. No. Think like me. No. No. Why no. do you think I shower with Eddie? No. That has never happened before. To your knowledge. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I mean, you do make those roofie drinks. <laughs> yeah, and I tend to roofie myself with them. <laughs> yeah. And and just for the sake that I, I don't roofie anyone, everyone. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry. Me, sorry. Me, I'm sorry about yeah. that. It needs context. Let me, let me, uh, let me yeah. explain the drink. It's <laughs> it's just two shots of vodka with a uh, electrolyte flavor packet and rest with water. That's all it is. Yeah, just, apparently just, he says it doesn't taste like alcohol yeah. at all, so that's why we named it Roofie Drink. Because yeah, it, because it, it you can't, you literally can't you. taste the alcohol in it. We've all like we've all tried it. It's like and a, we just make and it's like kind of a joke in this household. It's, so it's like just an edible. for clarification. Yeah, it, it's like an edible. It creeps up on you real fast. Yeah, <laughs> oh depends on the edible. And it and it keeps you hydrated. And it's also a very cheap drink. I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna change the name to Spicy Water. <laughs> yeah, roofie spicy drink is not a good. It's not a good selling point. <laughs> there was a when we had our party like those a couple of girls were here and I said do you want a roofie drink no <laughs> and, that's uh, not the thing that you're supposed like, to say did you really just ask me that I'm like don't worry I've had several <laughs> tonight <laughs> I've had a, I've already roofied myself <laughs> and they took oh, it oh buddy <laughs> so they took they took my spicy water thank god we don't post this shit on twitter Twitter's a fucking Cancel. trash can. <laughs> it is, no, it's a dumpster fire. Hashtag yep. pull the toaster in Twitter. Hashtag pull the toaster. <laughs> Hashtag Trump it's Trent. A, it's a toaster. It pull the toaster fire. <laughs> Hashtag pull the toaster fire Trent. <laughs> Man, trapped is something. So many bad ideas on one <laughs> podcast. This is amazing. Uh, my cup with unlimited water seemed to be a pretty good idea. I liked my 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 joke. I liked your joke. Which one? Uh, I liked all of them. You well, know which one. Really. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> Clan <child>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It is pretty good. Oh, God. That's a fucking Facebook meme. <laughs> Until Facebook blocks you. It has it's, multiple It's got, times. like, some white linen That's in the so soup. That's so weird. Like, uh, I thought I would have been the one getting blocked. It's usually on comments. No, just comments. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've because said some like things. Okay, like because I, Facebook doesn't read context of any kind. No, they well, don't no. at all. And <laughs> so they'll see something completely out of context and be like, "What the fuck, brand?" And then and then that's all you you can yeah, do. Yeah, no. Oh, and that uh, you picture, can't fight it or anything. That picture yeah, of me can. with a trench coat pulling a gun out is perfectly fine. Yep. Okay. But yet I can't comment on my basis like posts. Um, because he, I don't know, he posted something really uncomfortable and really fucking weird. Like, like granted, it? it was funny still, but it was, like, really uncomfortable and weird. I was just like, oh, dude, I'm going to beat your ass, bro. And then, like, put a laughing emoji on it to, like, give the context this and was it was to, a joke. This was right? to Riker? Oh, uh, no, it was to Adrian. Oh. Yeah, th- it, was to, it was to Adrian because Adrian likes to shitpost sometimes. Oh, he's and he's gr- and it's fucking great. But then, this, I don't know, I don't remember what this one was. All I just remember is getting banned. But basically, I just basically... I basically, basically, no, um, basically, I, no, to I, his <laughs> bass player, <laughs> right? Um, I commented saying I'm gonna beat your ass, bro, and then put a you know put a laughing emoji on, it. and that's how we talk. We're fucking bros. Like that's how, like that's how I talk to you. It's how I talk to all of you. Yep. Like if you say some dumb shit that it's gonna make me laugh at the same time, but it's also weird. I'm gonna say I'm gonna beat your ass, we but not just actually talking, do it. We were just talking about it earlier. If you can't insult your friends, they're not really your friends. Exactly. If I don't fuck with, if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? Well, Facebook so, doesn't see it that way. Yeah. No, no, Facebook. No. I mean, did you did you see that fucking photo of the uh, of the uh, comment? Like, what what was it that? What is the team called? What, what, that that, you know, that you know, does, oh my god, they have written you know, the Reagan, the Facebook regulation team. Do you see that photo? Yeah, they all look they like a bunch of fucking troglodytes. Oh my yeah. god, mutants. mutants. Yeah, no, yeah, no fucking wonder <laughs> everybody's getting banned. We got X-Men. the X Men. Yeah, <laughs> trying to no. censor comments. Bro, no. I got fucking banned from Facebook for like two weeks for commenting a Step Brothers quote on a post about the Step Brothers. Oof. Yeah, that happened. It's a good thing I don't okay. really do much posting on Facebook. Yeah, no, I try to keep away from posting on Facebook. Insta, I just let Instagram do it all because you also have that ability to be like not only post the photo, but since it's attached to your Facebook, it goes to your Facebook, and I just let that ride. Mm. But I so would I mean, like to see how many times I can get banned. 
Go go for it, dude. I'm I'd probably like recommend right making now. a second account Damn. though. I've I've made multiple accounts. I made a second account right after that uh, Step Brothers post got banned, and that fucking account got banned within one day. They fucking I, they I think they location banned me or something. <clears throat> That's stupid as fuck. But I had to just like wait it out eventually because all three of the fucking accounts that I had got banned, and I was like, okay, yeah, so there's no point to make. Well, I mean, like I'll comment on people's stuff, you know what I mean, like and like I'll do that, but like I'm tr- like I'm trying to like veer away from posting like individual statuses, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I'll yeah. do it like maybe once a week at most now. And so like like I said, everything's all Instagram and I just let that post it to the Facebook and everything. Cuz once again, it's you know once again, there's no reason. There's no reason to comment everything, like put everything that pops up in your fucking head. There's no fucking yeah, reason. Eddie. And especially when you're <laughs> It's me too though. I love Facebook. I'm always fucking around on Facebook. Yeah, but the difference well, there, is well, there Eddie you go. Write, buddy. I don't, I don't love go. Facebook. I just love fucking around on Facebook. But Eddie will write a whole novel on what was going on. This is true. Like Eddie, most people Eddie, just write Eddie's like one of those sentences. guys that sometimes gets into arguments with people on the internet. Well, well usually it's just about WWE, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Radio. <laughs> they do be doing that. Wrestling. <coughs> well, that's something you're passionate about. And you have a bunch of people yeah. on Facebook that also talk with you about that. <laughs> yeah. So that makes sense. But if it's just something like, but I mean, like, I don't really see you ever doing like shit like, oh, I feel depressed today. I don't see, I don't see you doing that. You're a yeah. fucking grown ass adult. If you feel depressed, talk to your fucking boys. You still see yeah. those Facebook posts, like a picture of a handful of pills, like, should I do it? I don't yes. know. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> if you post it on Facebook, yes, do it. Each do like, us all a favor. Each Fuck. like, I take one pill. We're going to have to do okay, a lot so, of editing. All right, hold on. No, nah, so that's fine. No, nah, just for clarification. Hey, we do not we proliferate suicide, suicide here. However, we do not proliferate stupidity. Just for context. Yeah, fuck you, Facebook. If you're stupid, we don't want you to kill yourself. But Except I mean, for if it happens... I'm just saying, you know, if you're <laughs> stupid and you just so happen to run into traffic, <laughs> I'm going to wear white at your funeral. <laughs> oh. So the last, five minutes, are the last <laughs> five minutes are gone. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, Eddie, I'm getting... Uh, <laughs> you got your work cut up for you, bud. Oh, man. So I figured I can probably get banned off of Facebook if I post Because I mentioned X-Men earlier. Has anyone talked about, uh, you know, because gender and all that stuff, like, not naming him the X-Men? It's been brought up multiple times. That's what I figured. It's been brought up, like, in the fucking movies. In the oh, X-Men movies. Oh, no. Which one? Like, the most recent ones. Hmm. Okay, can we please just leave shit alone? <laughs> Didn't they take I'm the, serious. I think it was like we Dark already Phoenix almost fucked up Ghostbusters. Thank you. What it was, that wasn't a horrible movie, though. No. Mm. I just don't like those It actors. wasn't good because of what the original Ghostbusters movies were. Just and leave shit yeah. alone. Shout out to Bolia. Shout out to Shout Cibolia. out to Cibolia. Shout out Bill Murray. They brought yeah. Ghostbusters back in a great way. Yes, they did. I mean, the thing is, is that I'd rather watch them, watch them reenact the Ghostbusters than that, I, than that Ghostbusters. Hope, that would be fun. I hope Bill Murray lives forever. Bill, <laughs> Bill Murray is going well, to live forever. I if hope he, uh, Bill Murray is I hope he immortal. becomes a zombie. <laughs> Even a fake one. He pulls it off. No, oh, if he's going to be a fake zombie, they're going to kill him. <laughs> he could live forever if he's in Groundhog Day. It's true. Cause it, because it, it repeats. Yeah. So technically, even though you're only living the one day, you are living forever. Exactly. If you're stuck in the loop. Shout out Bill Murray. Shout out Don't Bill Murray. The toaster Shout out Groundhogs. Bill Murray. <laughs> just, just hashtag groundhogs. Bill Murray. Don't pull the toaster. All you Groundhogs out there, if you're listening. Shout out to you. Shout out to you and Bill Murray. I know Bill Murray is your leader. Digging holes and shit. Do you think Bill Murray has Groundhogs? He might. Oh. He's I rich mean, as if Mike Tyson has Tigers... Well, he used to own tigers when he was coke the fuck out. Were the tigers on coke? <laughs> yeah. Why, why does that happen? Oh. Why does that oh. happen? If if people have like exotic animals like that, I feel like a lot of them are on some crazy drugs, well, which is weird because uh, it's just an animal. But that's kind of that's like kind of the way it goes when you yeah. have that much fucking money. Yeah, that's true. Like yeah, that, because if you drop it, you if know, you're like, not ready to have that kind of money, it usually fucks you up. 
Oh well, yeah, I mean like if you're if you'd be able to drop two hundred bucks on a fucking eight ball like it's nothing, then fuck it. You yeah, know that's I mean? that's chump change for someone like Tyson. Yeah. He's making a hundred million a fight. Probably. Whereas for us, it's like two hundred bucks. Like fuck, I'm gonna have to wait a week. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. Like, like I'm gonna have to wait a week. That's a quarter too. of my rent, bro. <laughs> that's half my rent. Fuck. <laughs> well, that pretty much ends part two. Oh, we got. We, oh, we good. A half hour in, but I will say. If you have a lot of money, stop buying exotic animals and, becoming, and being pedophiles. Come on, we've I'm, all we've all seen Tiger King. Don't uh, don't be that guy. And also, don't be a pedophile. Yeah, come on, Drake. Chris Hansen, shout out Chris Hansen. And I meant Drake. Shout Bell. out Chris Hansen. Just shout out to Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen needs to do something about Drake. Drake Drake Bell. Drake Bell and. Regular Drake, really? Whoa. Yeah. You okay. Heard about, um, we gotta right, go to part three right, for that. Yeah, they heard right, about we'll, Aubrey. We'll be right back and, right, after these messages. After a couple weeks. <laughs> Join us for this lovely episode of Scumcast. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode as well as like and subscribe. Don't forget to have hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of our content. Thank you for listening, you scumbag.